Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I am so sorry that I haven't uploaded a video in quite a while. I think it's been over a week already. Um, but basically school started and things have been really hectic in my house. Just trying to get everything situated. So this is the first week of school is over with, thank God. Today's Saturday, so hopefully Monday is like nice and easy so i just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys just have a quick little chit chat um so basically today's video i'm going to clean the house and i'm going to take some of my fall decor that i have in the shed i'm going to take it out and bring it into the house because i want to start decorating that is one of my favorite things to do is decorating I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have subscribed to my channel due to my like Chanel hauls and things like that and I really want to say thank you for subscribing it means the world to me I am really really excited to see where this channel grows to and I'm just so excited I have a couple ideas I just want to like let you guys know the ideas that i have for this channel so of course i'm going to have fashion related things well like you know purses and clothes and accessories and things like that i also love makeup i used to be a makeup artist a couple years ago so i want to incorporate a couple of makeup tips here and there and i'm really really obsessed with home decor we purchased a home two years ago and it needed a lot of renovations and I really want to um, show you guys all the renovations that we have done and all the tips and tricks that I found along the way because I like to decorate and renovate but I don't like to spend that much money. So I want to show you guys some tips and tricks of you know saving money and making sure that your house looks nice and beautiful. So really excited for the channel and like i said i'm really sorry about not uploading in quite a while but i just had a lot of trouble with um my girls starting school with the whole zoom meeting we were having problems with the computers and some of the teachers and things like that but yesterday everything went a lot smoother so hopefully monday and on it would just continue to keep on being smooth like that but I was also thinking, because I'm that type of person that I like to do my things early in the morning. I like to wake up, get things done, get it out of the way. So I was kind of thinking I'm either going to have to do my videos in the afternoon or just wait for the weekend and just try to create as much content. Con Try to create as much content as I can over the weekend and then just upload it during the week for you guys um so yeah like i was saying i'm going to clean the house and i put a full face of makeup on and i'm going to be sweating my behind off i'm pretty sure but i wanted to look presentable for you guys i didn't want to look like a walking zombie so this is the makeup also i am going to be sharing on here i'm going to open up a online boutique so at the moment i am wearing one of the things that i'm going to be selling i hope you guys are interested in it i hope you guys love it i'm really excited to open this online boutique because this is something that i've been kind of planning for quite a while and I'm almost there. I just want to make sure that everything comes out as nicely as possible. And it kind of shows my personality. And it's pretty affordable for you guys. I don't want it to be too expensive. And I'm just pretty excited. So hopefully you guys enjoy the things that I have in the future for myself. Um. So let's stop rambling on. And let's start cleaning so one of the first things that i definitely have to clean is this vanity that i'm sitting in front of it is super super dirty 
I mean, I did do my makeup, but other than that, it's kind of dusty. We need to clean this. <laughs>
kind of cleaned up the living room, the mop, sweeped and mop. Um, the next thing that I want, <laughs> the next thing that I actually want to clean up is the bathroom. And I still got clothes to be put away, but I'm not really going to show you guys that because it's boring. Um, there's a little bit of dishes in the sink, which is nothing special. So, yeah, I'm actually going to show you guys when I'm cleaning the bathroom. Um, oh, now that I remember, I'm actually, since I'm getting things ready for fall, um, I'm going to be washing my cow head rug, which let me show you it real quick. So this is actually the carpet that I'm going to be washing. Um, it is my cow head rug. I had it up last year around Christmas and Thanksgiving time. I had it up. So yeah, like I was saying, last year we had it up. I love that rug so much. My husband doesn't like it that much because it's kind of like flimsy, so it messes up quickly. So what I ended up doing since last year with the whole COVID thing going on and the kids were home, everybody was home basically, the rug was just getting on my nerves because it just kept getting messed up all the time. So I ended up moving it to the office, which there wasn't that much traffic. So I'm actually going to bring it back into the living room because my kids are using the office for schooling and it just keeps kind of getting messed up. And I also like the look of that cozy feel feel inside the living room especially around winter time and fall time especially since i live here in florida we don't experience the seasons changing so whatever i can do around the house just to have that kind of feeling back because i was actually raised in new jersey so that is one of the things that i miss the most about living in places like that that the season change is that you're able to like feel it smell it sense it um all the different types of the seasons throughout the year and here in Florida we don't really experience that and it's just so annoying to be honest with you um so that is actually what I'm gonna do I'm actually going to wash the rug which is one of the other reasons why I love that rug so much because it is kind of flimsy it's easy to wash I can just throw it inside the washing machine throw it in the dryer I can pass the iron or maybe even a steamer to kind of like take out the wrinkles if it might have some wrinkles but it's a like quick to just wash. It's not like other types of rugs that you got to take it outside or you got to hire somebody and it's just a long process. This rug is pretty quickly to just wash and just get it over with. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to throw that inside the washing machine and then continue on to the next chore.
I clean the bathroom. The only thing that I'm waiting on is to wash the curtain and dry it and put it back up. So I clean the living room. The whole house is nice, swept and mop. Clean the kitchen, clean the bedrooms, um, washing clothes, almost done with that. And the only thing that's left is just to put up the curtain rod, the curtains for the bathroom and start grabbing some of the things from the shed to bring it inside the house that's um that way i can start decorating so let me stop talking and then i guess i'll show you how the bathroom came out um besides the current area so let's just do that. <laughs> I just showed you the bathroom it's nice and clean like I said the only thing that we have to put that I have to put up is the curtain um so yeah you want to know something funny um all this cleaning and I lost three nails now that's not the funny part the funny part is I have not worn fake nails I think the last time I did it was for my high school graduation and I'm 32 right now. So what is that like 14, 15 years of me without wearing fake nails? Um, that's crazy, right? So what happened was all those years I haven't, I mean, when I used to live in New Jersey, I used to get them done a lot more often because over there it's cheaper, you know, it's like. $20 you can do whatever design you want whatever length you want anything like that so when I moved to Florida and I went to go get my nails done it's like stupid expensive down here it's like $60 and up if you want it longer they charge you an extra $10 or if you want this is another $12 it's like you'll leave out of there paying $80 just to get your nails done and I thought that was so ridiculous so I've seen a lot of people do like those um, press on nails and then they use like this really good Sally Hansen glue. I think it's called Sally Hansen. And I ended up buying some at CVS. So I was like, you know what? It's only about $11. So I'm just going to try it out and see. It was working fine. I've had it for about five days already. But I guess with the cleaning and you know, you're kind of like getting in there and you're scrubbing and all that. Some of the nails popped off, but whatever. You can definitely just glue them back on and then it'll look just nice and fresh all over again. But yeah, it's so funny. And also, I'm not even like used to wearing long nails, so it's kind of like awkward for me. <laughs> so yep, that is crazy. But anyways, um, let me just maybe i'll bring you guys to the shed if it's not that dark I'll... so i'm actually gonna go into the shed right now and then if it's not that dark i'll let you guys see but let's go i'm excited let's go get some of the decor stuff so i'm actually in the shed right now and then do you see hmm, this one right here that one has the fall decor everything else is basically christmas um, so I have to get that one right there and I don't know how I'm going to do it. So let's just see. <laughs> in that chair swiveling around so let's just open up and see what's inside so yeah there is some fall decor in there so i'm actually going to grab it and take it inside and just take out what i need and then put the rest of the stuff back in here all right 
All right, so I just put the carpet down. It looks so nice. So, I went through the bucket, and these are some of the things that I have for fall. This is basically a pumpkin with some flowers, like a flower arrangement that I did. I have two of them. And then this bag down here is just full of a bunch of pumpkins, and so is this one. So, I'm actually going to do a different video that I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to decorate everything around the house so these are a couple things so I'm sorry that it's dark right now the sun is um it's kind of going away it's going to start raining so it's a little dark out there but like I was showing you guys, I found some of the decor that I have. I don't have that much because like I said, we purchased this house two years ago. And before that, I wasn't really into like decorating around the holidays, except for Christmas. Like I will always put up a tree. But other than that, I wouldn't spend money on that because we were renting. So... I just didn't like spending money on things like that when I knew that we were gonna go to another place and then maybe the decor didn't really go nicely there you you understand what I'm saying but since this is our house I am really into the spirit of buying and decorating around the holidays so those were a couple of things that I bought last year and I put away but this year, I kind of want to make things a little more girly. I'm really thinking about having a lot of creams and um, kind of like baby pink. And also kind of maybe a periwinkle blue. I know that blue has been kind of around. It's kind of like the color this year. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but... I really like the way that color looks and I was thinking of maybe doing a couple of DIY pumpkins using that color scheme. Maybe going into drying fabric and getting some um, velvet fabric. That's what I was thinking. And putting like rhinestones on it or glitter and stuff like that. So I'm really excited because I really want to show you guys some DIYs that I might have going on. And I'm excited to start decorating already. So actually, I just went and grabbed the selfie stick because my arm was killing me. Um. So anyways, gosh, I look a hot mess. I'm so sorry about that. But anyways, I am really excited about the seasons that are coming in. And I'm getting excited to start decorating and just i know we can't be going on like out that much because of the whole covet thing i don't even know if i'm able to say that word <laughs> um because of the whole pandemic um so yeah it's gonna be a little tricky this year because i know i really can't take the kids to do a lot of things but i kind of don't want it to stop us because you know We've been basically stuck in the house all these months and I know around Thanksgiving and Halloween and Christmas and stuff like that we want to go out but we want to be cautious. So I'm thinking of things that we can probably do even at the house or just certain things that we can probably get away with that way the kids are not so bored being here and they're able to enjoy this year somewhat. But yeah, so I think I'm going to leave the video here. So I'm actually gonna leave the video here because it was a pretty long one. Um, and like I'm saying, I think tomorrow I'm going to get up and I'm going to go to like Home Goods, the Dollar Tree, Target, things like that. See what I can come across. And then I'm going to upload another video of me decorating the house. And I'm also going to be having some videos doing some DIY projects as well. 
so please subscribe that way you guys are not missing out on any of my videos and i think you guys are really going to enjoy some of my content so yeah like i said please subscribe it's down below it's free you guys don't have to pay anything thumbs up the video if you guys liked it and if you guys have any questions just leave it down in the comments and i will get back to you and other than that i guess i'll see you guys on my next video bye